Hi everyone, welcome to another tutorial on Galaxy for Bioinformatics for beginners. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can run Bioinformatics tools in Galaxy. So if a, a new beginner in Galaxy or if you are a totally new user, then I will suggest you check my video on introduction to Galaxy. So the link to that video is in the description box. So on Galaxy, if you want to run tools on the left hand side, you will see tools. You will see this particular section here where they say tools. If you don't see it, just come to the tax bar here, this section, the last end. And then if you look at the various tabs, there's one, the third one that is tools. So click it and when you click it, it will show. If the tools list has already been displayed and you click it again it goes away so just click it back and then it will show so once it shows there is this search box here that you can use to search for the tools that you want to use for your analysis that's how it goes now let me so if you are going to use the tools you need to know the name of the tool you also need to know how the tool is used that's very very important and most of the tools the good thing is that they have documentation available online and so if you don't understand it, you can quickly go to their respective website or search for the tool and then the website that has information about the tool or the tools will be shown to you so in this search box here you just type the tool if it's not there you type it you can also check here so here the tools here have been categorized so we have get data it shows you tools that you can use to get data you have send data so they have been categorized so that at least you have an idea of what the tool does all right so you can click on them or if you know the specific tool also then you can just use a search box and then search for it so let's just search for one tool for example which is first qc so it shows up and then you can use it and sometimes too, if there's a better alternative to that particular tool it will be shown for you so like Pasquisi, for example, they are, the Galaxy team is saying that there is another tool that you can use instead because that tool is faster or maybe performs better than what you are looking for. So you can have that suggestion as well. So here, when I search Pasquisi, let's say I want to use Pasquisi. So if I want to use it, I will just have to click it. And when I click it, there will be another window coming up. So the tool will definitely require you, require some information from you. And so all the information that will be needed by the tool will be displayed. And then you can fill in or supply the information and then get your work done. So FastQC, for example, it's used for getting the quality of NGS sequencing data. And so if you click it, it's going to ask you questions. Maybe the input you are going to use maybe the parameters and some other information so you have to know this information beforehand so that you can supply that information to galaxy all right so the tools themselves are there but it's important to for you to know what these tools do and what these tools require so that when you click on it then you supply the needed information this tool for example, FastQC requires some inputs, a FastQ file or another type of file, I think BAM file. And so you have to supply it here. And then some of the options to, you, you, you can leave them. Let me just put it out. Some of the parameters here, some of the information, here, they are optional. So you can leave them. Some of the tools will have default settings. And so you have to know which you want to modify and which you want to leave. Some of the information here they are mandatory you have to supply them some of them are optional so those that are mandatory usually you have this text it says required let me just zoom in again it says star required so you will need to supply information you need to supply this information because it's required those that are optional will be stated so this one for example contaminant list it says optional so that means you can leave them out and sometimes too if they are optional it means that there are default values so even if you don't supply anything there the default values are going to be used all right so you just take note of that so the best thing is know the tools you want to use consult 
you can also check the documentation of these tools online in their respective pages and then you can supply the required information of course because it's a tool you're also going to need some inputs so for the inputs you need to make sure you upload them so when you upload them they are going to be here on the right hand side so there's a history the current history so when you upload them this is where they are going to be or you can click and select the appropriate history i have a lot of history here so you can just use the one which has the data right if it's this current history you are using you can just come to the left hand side there's the upload button here you can click it and then upload your data all right i already have a tutorial that also shows how to upload files and data to Galaxy. so just check the description of you find the link to that video all right so with the upload you can click choose local file choose from repository paste slash fetch data okay so this one if you have the download link you can just click and then just paste the link here all right so like in my case i have a link so i can just paste it here or if it's a local file that's where you click choose local file and then you can now proceed and then select from local file or you can just drag it here so all these things you have to know what you want and then use it all right so that's very very important okay so so if it's a link once i've pasted it i can just click on start or as i made mention you can also there so there are various options for importing data from your local machine or from a remote server somewhere um, to others so you just have to know what you have to do and then you can start and it will upload so on the right side you will see something happen so there's even an html file all right but you can also use a file itself i think i had one here i can copy this one and then i can just paste it here so this is a pascal file so i can just start it and then once it's done since this is pascal c and it needs a fast queue file once this is done the background test green and i can upload it here and so when you upload if it's successful the background will turn green like this one this one red that means that the upload was not successful so this one for example is just a link that i got um, from a place from another page which is not actually a file and it's probably not a valid link so here if you see red that means that the link that you pasted or the data that you uploaded was not successful so you have to investigate why it happened and for that one that's successful the background will turn green and that means that this ready this data is now ready to be used so this one i can ignore it because i don't really need it so i can just delete it um, i'll come here select it and say delete permanently so that's it goes away and it saves me space all right so once that is done then you can now proceed but you also have to make sure that the page is stable and everything is done and then you can proceed so once you have this then you can now run the tool that you want once you have your data successfully uploaded then you can have the analysis done so here if it's fast we see I need the raw data so this has been uploaded successfully it has been detected automatically if if not you just have to click and select it and then you specify the required information give all the parameters and then you can run the tool all right so this is a simple way to run or to yeah to open and run tools on galaxy so when the tool when the job has been submitted for example this one it says started to fast qc and other one job to queue so once you submit it you also see this coming up here the expected outputs so the expected output will be pre-generated just to let you know that these are the files that will be generated and then the analysis itself is going to be done so if the analysis is so successful then the background for the outputs are also going to turn green and that means that you have your results ready and you should also note that the time it takes to run the tool will depend on the data you are using will depend on the parameters 
will depend on the tool itself so there are a number of factors all right but just make sure to monitor and then when it turns green that means it's done sometimes it will be red that means there was something wrong so you can actually send a report to galaxy we will talk about that later you can send a report to galaxy on on some of the things that was wrong here or some of the things that could not run successfully so those are things you can do now this output is done so there's a web page i can click and view it on galaxy when i click it it comes here on the left hand side this is fast qc so it gives me a quality report which i can view and then check so there's the web page you can also download it by the way so when you come here this is the download button you can click to download so when you click it you will be asked to download it use to save it on your machine so you have to select where you want to save it that one is up to you so you can save it and there's also another output from fast qc so you have to know the outputs and also you should be able to know what these outputs are and what information they carry all right so this one too i can view i can download some of the outputs may be heavy so that means you may need to process them further and then extract the content that you want or you may need to download and view on your machine all right so that's what you should also take note of all right so in a nutshell galaxy has lots of tools that you can use for analyzing your genomic data you can use it for lots of bioinformatics analysis and also to avoid rerunning the tools or let me let me just put it this way so if you want to avoid rerunning the same tool by coming here typing fast qc and going all this way what you can do is to put it in a workflow so i'll click workflow here on the left hand side and then you can build a workflow so for example this one i was just working on it it's workflow so you can build a workflow to automate the procedure so if it's something you are going to be doing routine then all that i have to do is to build a workflow i've covered some tutorials on workflow by the way so workflow you build it you select the tools and then you link them up where um, some files will serve as input for others you select them and configure them accordingly some files the output will serve as inputs so all these things you can do it in a workflow and then you can rerun that workflow over and over again without you having to set the configurations all over again okay so this will also allow you to it will save you time because once you build it you only need to call the entire workflow as a single a function and then just supply your information once and then you run it so there's something you can also do if let's say you have several tools you want to run at a time you can build a workflow and then run it here right now let's get back to galaxy now for the individual tools if let's say you have a tool you have run you have the outputs sometimes you may want to rerun right with the same configuration so aside from building a workflow you can actually come to one of the outputs here click it and then you see this arrow here it says run job again you can click and when you click that means rerun so when you come here the same information you have supplied you can rerun or if let's say you want to change something here maybe the output or something you can also change it and then maintain the others and then run so when you run okay the good thing is that when you run the existing outputs are going to be maintained they will not be deleted and then new outputs are going to be created all right so in case maybe you will run and then supply a different input then all the more reason why this is also a cool approach because new outputs are going to be generated and the old ones will still be kept so it will be your decision to delete the old ones or maintain them if the ones you are running now have new inputs okay so uh, these are things you can always learn and and then try to implement so uh, this is how we run tools or let's say bioinformatics tools on galaxy so it's a simple tutorial which i believe will help for those who also want extra tutorials you can just book a session with me or send me an email and we can discuss further on that so please watch this playlist you have more tutorials on how to use galaxy for bioinformatics see you later